Since the release of Star Wars The Last Jedi by writer and director Ryan Johnson, a lot of people, including myself, did not agree with how Luke Skywalker was treated in the overall plot of that movie and with Star Wars Episode 9 coming up by J.J. Abrams. A lot of people have a lot of questions for the character of Luke Skywalker. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, looking at Episode 9 specifically, we do know that J.J. Abrams apparently is going to be fixing the character of Luke Skywalker by exploring more of his legacy and showing us the audience of Luke's impact on the entire galaxy by the time Episode 9 comes around. And that's essentially how he's going to be fixing certain elements of the character of Luke Skywalker by exploring parts of his legacy and showing us the impact of the galaxy of the legend of Luke Skywalker. Skywalker as we witnessed at the very end of Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now looking at episode 9, there's a big debate here about J.J. Abrams fixing Luke. Some people would say that this shows a sign of weakness by Disney and Lucasfilm and shows a lot of desperation at fixing the sequel trilogy and fixing the character of Luke, realizing that they made some mistakes in The Last Jedi. Now, the other side actually thinks that this is a fantastic idea. It shows that Disney is really trying to do their very best with this trilogy in a genuine way in order to satisfy fans. Now, as for myself, I think that fixing certain elements of the character of Luke Skywalker is great and all, but I'm not quite sure if it will be enough to really restore the character to the point where people won't be disappointed of how they looked at him in The Last Jedi. Now, if you look at The Last Jedi, there were a lot of elements of the character of Luke that they really could have explored. Now, the Luke at the very end of Episode 8 is the Luke that I was familiar with. You know, he was more clean cut. He didn't look as old, he wasn't all gray, he wasn't, you know, he didn't have more weight on him, he was more slim. The Luke that we saw on Crate is the Luke that we should have got actually throughout the whole entire movie. And it seems as so that if you look at all the Disney films, starting off with The Force Awakens, leading all the way to The Last Jedi and Solo A Star Wars Story, it's like the best version of those characters or the things that a lot of people are looking forward to are the teases of the movie. So we really only got the true Luke Skywalker, in my opinion, at the very end of The Last Jedi for in or around 10 minutes. So looking at episode 9 here, we do know that J.J. Abrams, like I say, is going to be fixing the character of Luke in certain ways by exploring different aspects of his legacy and the legends of Luke Skywalker and show Showing us the impact of Luke on the galaxy. You know, showing us the impact of all the people around the galaxy from the Legend of Luke Skywalker. And I think that's a great thing. I think that's kind of cool and all, but I think that we still need to see action by Luke Skywalker. And just yesterday we went over this, is that Mark Hamill will actually be shooting a scene in November with a couple of extras. And aside from all of that, it's rumored that Adam Driver will be a part of this scene. And it is said to be an action-heavy sequence. Now, it could tell us that this is going to be in the form of a flashback or maybe a vision like that in The Empire Strikes Back where Luke versus Vader. It could be something like that. Or something outlandish and crazy where Luke is a force ghost fighting Kylo Ren. Now, I don't know how you guys would feel about that, but we covered that yesterday and I'm not quite sure how I personally would feel about that. But looking at episode 9 here, the fact that JJ is really trying to fix certain elements of the character and explore more aspects of the character of Luke, because after all, this is the final film of the sequel trilogy. It's a very important piece for sure. It's a mega event for Disney and Lucasfilm and for the fans. Ends, as long as this movie is going to be great. Many people are saying that the use of flashbacks for the character of Luke Skywalker is not a great thing to do in episode 9, and I can totally understand a lot of people's, you know, opinions on that. I myself personally don't mind flashbacks as long as Luke Skywalker gets a lot of action and they show us the true Luke Skywalker that we have all wanted to see for the longest time as a Jedi Master. But looking at episode 9 specifically here, guys, I gotta say, when it comes to J.J. Abrams, we do know that they have a lot of plans in store for the fans around the world for this movie. They're really going to do big things, apparently, uh, according to Donald Gleason. A lot of twists and turns are coming our way, and one of those twists and turns could very well have all to do with the character of Luke Skywalker. We also know 
that huge revelations will be made for the character of both Luke and Kylo Ren. And that also raises a ton of other questions. Is there more to the story between Luke and Kylo? I think that more of these flashbacks that we saw in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi will be expanded and continued and really kind of just flesh out the story a whole lot better to make us understand it at a, you know, more, you know, deeper level. I think that if you look at everything that they have done with the sequel trilogy and exploring the concept of flashbacks, I kind of like that because you can get a little glimpse of moments in the past while also staying in the present and bouncing back. So that's one thing that the sequel trilogy has going for it. But with J.J. Abrams, you know, I know that he set up a lot of things in Star Wars Episode 7 that didn't really get to, you know, get explored in The Last Jedi. Now the fact that he's back in Episode 9, he could really explore a lot of those questions to be answered in this movie, and I think that's exactly what he's going to do. But anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.